Cassandra at the start of the game is trying to take Delray Hollow, which is controlled by the head of the black mob, uh, Sammy Robinson. When uh, Sal Marcano betrays Lincoln and he kills Sammy and Ellis, he hands over Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia, which is headed up by a guy named Richie Doucette. As they kind of come together, realize that they have this common enemy, they decide to team up and decide to work together to take him down because they know it will, will further their cause and kind of helping their criminal empire, but also their local community as well, which they feel has kind of been a victim of the kind of the city system and Marcano as well. The two of them don't trust each other very much. Lincoln is concerned that uh, at any given point in time, Cassandra may turn on him. Uh, and, you know, Cassandra doesn't trust that he's going to look out for the people in the hollow uh, in the midst of his war on the Marcano crime family. History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it they get in the hands of the right people. Cassandra realizes that she will never realize her dream of taking the hollow unless she assists Lincoln. But also part of that conversation that she has with Lincoln is the idea that as Lincoln dismantles Sal Marcano's organization, he may hand over other sections of the city to her.